Good morning, folks. Starting with the negative color Princeton shape map for last night's 6.1 earthquake in Indonesia. It was the largest earthquake in days on planet Earth, but it's not going to be very damaging. Goddard Scientific Visualization Studio, doubling up for the second day in a row here. Now, while the Antarctic ice down south is indeed growing and breaking records even, the Arctic ice up north is going down, but with a curious feature of extreme swings building at the end. That last up in ice return during winter obviously didn't get us back to average, but it's the single largest ice increase on the entire list. Black holes, Stephen Hawking, and now allegedly, goodbye event horizon. Hawking's short papers like this three-page piece are often written for easy understanding, but with vocabulary that is both advanced and contracted to short form. The practical utility in our lives of a paper such as this is kinda nil, and there are already thousands who would disagree with his closing remarks. I am beginning to think they're trying to preempt the Star Water series. Even if you haven't seen our website videos, you have seen us discussing the solar wind electrochemical combination and delivery mechanisms of water here on the YouTube channel. Again, this group stops at the hydration of all solar system objects, just a few steps short of revelation. This is a radiation graph from a balloon sent up by Dr. Phillips' Earth to Sky Calculus, one of the coolest things anyone's doing right now. They sent a rad meter up in the solar storm last week and will now test ambient conditions with the quiet sun this weekend. Top recommendation on something to look forward to there. Folks, it is miserably cold for me in Columbus, Ohio, since, since I knew the real cold air was shifting further south, I'm nervous for the situation reports to come in from the Gulf this morning. It is at or below freezing for almost the entire area. Sleet was reported hitting the waves on the Texas coastline as the cold shoots further south. Still got that low in the Pacific, stuck in place right on time. Coming to Europe, you see a strengthening of the northern low and it did rip a convergence line there, but so far there are not major damage reports coming in from it. Story down south is much of the same as it was yesterday. Rain lingering north and also about to crest onto the South Island overnight and into the morning. Let's take a look at the current conditions. The solar wind speed is calm, but the density is showing slight variability. Not going to produce major effects, but there's a measure of instability and the electron flux confirms this with those stutter steps. Solar flaring? What solar flaring? The sunspot situation screams magnetic shutdown like we haven't been watching it for two straight years already. I do like the look of the backside development here, but it's just a complete lack of faith in our star at the moment. Magnetic connection to our sun is not in major eruption danger proton events are unlikely. The only eruptive feature last night on the disk was a filament destabilization, and most of that never left the corona. We have a tiny coronal hole hiding behind the Earth scale box there. Sneaky bugger, directly Earth-facing since last night, and hopefully the 6.1 is all we'll see. Shots of our star to close, eyes open. No fear at 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.